So what's the best way to convert a file from 32 to 16 or 8-bit? I know that 8 and 16 is pretty much the same thing. They are very close visually. You're not going to get many differences if you convert something from 16 to 8. But 32 is another thing. The passes, they were completely different. And if I convert this to 16 or to 8-bit, you're going to see the difference. Now, this is the difference of a 32-bit file using blend modes and 16-bit. You see that 32-bit holds so much more information. The blend modes, they look much, much better. And in 16-bit or 8-bit, you're gonna lose a lot. That's because 32 holds much more range. And that's the whole reason why we're talking about it. Converting a file from 32 to 16 or 8 doesn't need to be a pain in the ass. You only need to be careful on what you want to have in the layer. And in this case, the only things I need to get in the layer is the background and the fish and the octopus. The same groups that I have in here, I'm going to have on my 8-bit file. And also the ZDEF. It's nice to have the ZDEF in a separate group and in a layer because I need to have access to to the ZDEF and to control the intensity of the ZDEF and I don't want to lose that when I'm converting from 32 to 16 or 8 bit. One last thing we haven't spoke about is the octopus shadow. I got my octopus shadow from my octopus passes and I need that octopus shadow to be in the background because it's a part of the background and I got a different uh, layer stacking on that my sunlight and my ring lights a combination of both and uh, and finally my octopus shadow group uh, what I have in here I have my ring light as a base layer and I have my sunlight on top of it and this time I chose to use multiply which is the blend mode that keeps all the shadows and, and black pixels and pretty much delete all the all the whites and highlights and that's what i want because i just want the information of the shadow i don't want the sand to be added to my ring light and i can use my exposure to control that information if i if i get my sunlight lighter i'm gonna isolate only my shadow and that's what i want and if I apply that as multiply, I only gonna get the shadows. Although in 32 bit, you also get uh, differentiations with uh, highlights. That's, uh, that's something that doesn't happen on 16 or 8 bit. So that's, that's why I chose to use a little bit of opacity just to match both together. Now, the last thing before we go to convert to 16, you have to learn how to merge your layers. And to do that, it's very simple. You just have to command E and you're gonna merge your group. You can also go on layer and it's somewhere here. Merge group, it's there, see? So good, what I need to do is merge all my passes group and I'm gonna merge this guy. I can merge uh, these two guys. And please don't lose your masks. That's nice to keep in there. You can keep them while you convert to, to 16 or a bit. What you have to understand that uh, your blend modes are gonna work different. So that's why I'm merging my layers because I'm not gonna have to bother with that. And also all my layer adjustments. Those are not going to read the same way when we go back to 16 or to 8-bit. So what I need to do is flat all my layer adjustments, all my layers. Same thing goes with the fish. Uh, I'm just going to keep my masks. I don't want to lose that. I just need to merge my layer adjustments with my passes. And then I'm ready to go. Same thing with the octopus. I'm going to merge all the passes. I could even go passes and merge. And then I'm ready to go. Just be careful to not get useless information. I don't need the information outside the octopus. This is all sh garbage. I don't need it. So what I'm going to do is to make my file lighter. I'm going to select 
my octopus, which is command click or control click on the PC. And I'm gonna go select. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna expand a little bit of the mask because with this, I'm gonna, you know, get a little bit of a safe area in case I wanna adjust my my overall mask. So I don't wanna, I don't want my main mask of the octopus competing with another mask in here. So to create a safe area, I'm gonna expand my selection and this is enough. And I'm gonna add another mask. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and apply layer mask. And why am I doing this again? Because pixels are heavier than layer adjustments. Layer adjustments are only um, metadata and that it doesn't really get your file heavier. But pixels, they are the villains when talking about uh, heavy files. And that's why it's wise to be clever with that and not to gather information that you're not gonna use. Same thing goes for the for the fish, for the ZDAF. Oh, I forgot to merge this guy. And I'm gonna merge it with Command E. And I don't need the information outside of the fish. I only need the fish in this case. So I can go back, expand my selection. And 25 is fine. Uh, 10 should be fine as well. Just a little bit of room if I wanna go back and and change my 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 selection of my mask and I can apply this guy I can drag this mask with the alt button to this other guy and apply them so now my file is much lighter I'm not gonna bother with the background because the background I don't have that much useless area it's just a uh, the plain gradient on the background and I might use this at some point to to blend any other water background I want to add into it. It's nice to keep that information. That's why I'm going to choose to keep it in this case of the background. And now we are good to go. We're going to go image mode and I'm going to go to 16 bit. And just be careful to not merge your layers. You want to click don't merge because you want to keep the layers you have and the groups as well. There's going to be a little bit of change to the way that the ZDEF is interacting with the background and with the octopus as well and with the fish. And that's because the the blend mode lighting in 32-bit works just a little different than the 16-bit, but it's not really significant. Now I'm gonna show you how 16 and 8-bit blend modes, they all look the same. If I convert this guy from 16 to 8, you're gonna see that there is no visual difference. And yes, nothing changes really. Working with 8-bit, it's nice because your file, it's so much lighter. And now I have all my blend modes were done in 32. And I know that I got it right. And if I ever wanna go back to the 32-bit file, just save a file, call it 32-bit, and then save another one, call it a bit. And if you ever want to go back to to the passes you had in 32 and change the blend modes with them, just go back to your file. And then once you're happy with them, merge the group again and go back to a bit. And that's safe because you always going to have the possibility of going back in time and fixing your mistakes or polishing something that wasn't quite right. You're definitely going to change your mind from a day to the other. So it's nice to have that information always somewhere so you can go back in case you want to change it.